we're going to talk about sketch planes and uh, the ability to add um, a custom sketch plane. All right, so we've drawn a quick block, and for some reason, we want to um, add some geometry here in the middle. All right, so there's a number of ways to do it. We'll uh, we'll just show you a little bit here. If I left click on this particular surface, um, I'm going to go into surfaces, reference geometry, plane. Okay, that yellow plane is our new reference plane. All right, and it stands 0 0.10 off of that surface. All right. Well, let's uh, let's make it a little bit different. It's going in a direction I don't necessarily want, so I can select reverse and go to my isometric view. All right, that's perfect. That's telling me I want a new sketch plane there. I've now created the plane. Okay, these are my current default planes. I've now created a new one here. You can left click on this and create um, a new name for it. And I could call that mid plane. And you can see that the name comes up when we want to, um, when we change the names. All right, so we're not done yet. Now we hover over this left click and it comes up and gives us a choice to create a sketch plane off of that plane alright so now if we create a circle if we go normal to you think you're sketching on that plane there alright let's bring this up so you can see what it's gonna do alright but let's go back to isometric oh look it we've made the plane in here internal to this guy and because we want to carve something in the middle so we're gonna go to features we're gonna give it an extruded cut select here and go down to mid plane so what that's going to do is say I wanna go 5.89 inches in either direction alright so by dialing this up you're gonna see how it grows and shrinks it's because we've selected mid plane it's gonna go in both directions from there and you can do that with any sketch entity by using the mid plane but we just want to give that eh, about a five and a half it's gonna cut it cuts right into our box and then we can single click on that guy and hit these glasses to hide it. Alright, so that is how you quickly create a custom sketch plane and have a nice little divot into something. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you on the next one.